Number 8. This is 1992 D. Lincoln sent with close AM on reverse. Graded in mint state 62 red and brown by PCGS. According to Jamie Hernandez from PCGS, despite billions of cents being produced for this year alone, only about a dozen examples or so are known to exist for the 1992 D. Close AM variety. To determine if a 1992 cent is of the very scarce and valuable variety, the letters M of America will be very close to each other and almost touching. Also, the initials FG on the reverse are further apart from the memorial building. A regular 1992 business strike should be the opposite as the letters AM of America will be spaced further apart from each other. This specimen ended up selling for $1,434.39 with buyer's fee on October 15, 2023. Number 7. This is 1938 proof Lincoln sent in red PR67 plus condition. According to David Lawrence website, a conditional rarity from a mintage of just 14,734 coins, tied for the finest non-cam example. PCGS reports just 13 specimens in this lofty grade. Virtually flawless and of course fully struck, with dazzling golden orange mirrors. It was sold for $3,375. Number 6. Here is 1943 zinc-coated steel sent in MS-68 plus condition. According to NGC, vast numbers were saved in mint state for their novelty, but their highly reactive composition has made preserving their beauty a real challenge. With exposure to moisture the underlying steel often rusted, even with the zinc plating. Gems are plentiful through MS-67, and encapsulation is perhaps the safest means of maintaining their original appearance. On the open market 1943 pennies in pristine, Uncirculated conditions sell for as much as $3,200. However this superb gem fetched a sum of $4,350.38 with buyer's fee at auction. Number 5. Another wartime penny. 1941 S. Lincoln sent in MS-68 red condition. According to NGC, due to the usual hoarding of rolls at the time of issue, 1941 S. cents are plentiful in all grades through fully red gem. Many, however, were coined from very worn dyes showing obvious signs of erosion. Collectors should seek those fully struck from fresh dyes. The S mint mark punch is used since 1917 was showing signs of filling, and the Philadelphia Mints Engraving Department furnished a new one of large size and completely different style. This debuted on a minority of the 1941 S cents through quarter dollars, half dollars transition the following year. 1941 S cents having the large S are not truly rare but they are scarce in top grades and bring a premium. This one ended up selling for $11,812.50 with buyer's fee on October 15, 2023. Number 4. Here is 1954 S. Lincoln sent in MS-68 red condition. Quality control for this issue was poor, even by San Francisco mint standards of the 1950s. Worn and over-polished dyes left many of these coins quite blurry and their details incomplete. Only widespread roll hoarding of this date has provided enough gems to satisfy the demand from collectors. MS-68 specimen are truly scarce though. This specimen ended up selling for $14,072.62 with buyer's fee. Number 3. This is exquisite full red 1909 S. Lincoln sent with repunched mint mark S over horizontal S. According to Stax Bowers, satiny in texture with a razor-sharp strike from the dyes, both sides also exhibit beautiful color in a pale rose-orange shade. Silky smooth surface are fully deserving of the impressive MS-67 RD grade from PCGS. One of the most popular varieties in this widely collected small scent series, the 1909 SFS 1502 is a repunched mint mark variety on which the first S was entered into the dye at 90 degrees from normal with the second S entered properly. This elusive penny ended up selling for $16,800. Number 2. This is 1983D Lincoln sent struck on a bronze planchet in error. This planchet error is similar in nature to the 1943 copper cents and occurred in precisely the same manner. The 1983D copper planchet cents are destined to remain quite rare as the change from the old tenor copper, also known as bronze or brass, planchets to the new 97.5% zinc and 2.5% copper planchets occurred in October of 1982 at the Denver Mint, at least two months before 1,983 D cents were struck. Quality control was also very high at the Denver Mint in this time period, undoubtedly leaving few such errors to be discovered. 
This error sent ended up selling for $17,625. Number 1. And this is 1926s Lincoln sent in MS64 plus red condition. This San Francisco sent offers exceptional quality and I appeal for an issue that is rarely seen with full red color. Both sides of this vivid beauty exhibit dominant pinkish rose color, the peripheries adorned with warmer reddish orange. It is sharply struck and has a satiny and smooth appearance that is suggestive of an even higher grade. The 1926S has a low mintage by the standards of this series, with just 4,550,000 pieces produced. It has long been regarded as semi to full key date issue in all grades, and the vast majority of collectors have settled for a worn example due to either availability or cost. Very scarce in all mint state grades. It was sold for $43,200. Thanks for joining us today. Until next time, happy coin hunting, and may the rarest coins be in your collection. Don't forget to smash thumbs up. Stay well.